Holy cow, first edition now of Ion Talks Games. Not going to actually play anything this time. Don't turn off your freaking window there. I, I saw you thinking about it. Wrapping up my professional wrestling anthology, my series. We're going to talk about every game we played, my thoughts in general, really kind of go opinions here. I'm a newsman by trade, so editorials are something that I'm quite used to writing, so it'll be something new and speaking one. Well, we played a lot of games. I'm going to count them here real quick. Look at that. There's four there, six, seven, eight, nine, and this right here will be the tenth part of this epic series. Oh, wow. First, thank you for watching. I, I got to tell you, I appreciate that. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you watching me play these games and, and hopefully learning how to play them yourselves and wanting to go out and try them. So let's go back to 8-Bit Pro Wrestling on the NES right here in my hot hand. Absolutely wonderful game. Not massively deep, but what do you expect? It was an NES launch title, a black box game. Fun. The fact that it had different wrestlers with different moves. Everyone had signatures. Everyone had different things they could do. Yeah, your top rope moves were all the same. Nearly all of your grapple moves were the same, minus your specials. Even your Irish whip moves were the same, but still, for its time, for what it was, it's miles ahead of the second game we played, Tag Team Wrestling. This is a fun little game by Data East, same year of release. Innovative, and it's the first tag team game. Innovative in that you had a menu that would pop up when you would grapple someone, and you would hit the other button to figure out what move you're going to do, and your moves depended on how damaged your opponent was. Um, fun? Question mark? Fun enough, I would say, I guess, then. Next, we played WCW World Championship Wrestling by FCI. <laughs> I'm dropping carts left and right. I'm just so excited about WCW World Championship Wrestling. Here it is. Good game. Um, innovation in this one is that the character sprites look like the wrestlers involved. You could look at Sting and see Sting. You could look at... Uh, hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. See, he had his shades on him. That was Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. Ric Flair looked like Ric Flair. Um, yes, the tights would be the same. Some of them were just palette swaps, but still they were enough of a difference in the palette swap that you could tell. And then signature moves for everybody. Innovation here, you got to pick four of your own moves. You could change them between matches. Imagine you could do that now in a WWE 2K game where you could change your moves between each match and it wasn't a pain in the butt to go do. You had to go through 14 different menus and figure that out. All right, so there's one, there's two, there's three. Yes, these are in order in my hot little hand. Tecmo World Wrestling was our last 8-bit game. This was amazing. Um, just a great game. Altogether, it stands up to this day. It's a little hard to figure out what you're doing. I, I would ask you to Google the instruction manual for this thing and take a look at the different moves that each wrestler has access to, depending on how you press the arrow button and a combination of your A or B buttons, or sometimes both. Tons of moves. Tons of moves. Had a commentator that actually kept up along the bottom of the screen. Had in-game cutscenes showing you do big moves toward the end of the match. Really fun. Great time. Moved on from there to 16-bit games. I've got them on the Genesis. WWF Royal Rumble. Very similar to WWF Raw, if you played that. Super WrestleMania, a few others along that vein. Fun. I mean, the wrestlers look like the wrestlers. They have signature moves. Um, it's a button smasher, though. You just are jamming a button as quick as possible. I remember playing uh, Raw and even Royal Rumble on my... I don't know if it was Royal Rumble. I know I played Raw on my Super Nintendo. I had a turbo controller. It's how you won matches. WrestleMania, the arcade game, was next. Fun. Difficult. Definitely an arcade game. Used the, its innovation was using the scanned-in Mortal Kombat style figures for your favorite wrestlers. Seeing them actually fighting each other in a video game was cool. I remember seeing this in an arcade. Very, very fun. Next, after that, WCW NWO Revenge, skipping straight to 64 bits. Fun. Very fun with friends, I will say. The innovation of having so many different moves, so many different ways you could do things. 
finding the little surprises of like that guy can do a springboard, that guy can't jump off the top rope. But when he's got his special, that guy who couldn't jump off the top rope before now can jump off the top rope. Won the TV title with the Disco Inferno. Fun game, fun game. I skipped this one, WrestleMania 2000, because it was basically the same thing as before, but with a WWF skin. Um, we'll talk about it again in a moment. Then we did play WWF No Mercy for you. Many consider this to be the greatest professional wrestling game of all time. We're going to talk about that in a minute. That's called Anticipation. I hope you're feeling it. Really about the same thing as, as WCW NWO Revenge, and I can feel the hate comments starting to form underneath me in the window here. It added running grapples, which I cannot remember if they were in WrestleMania 2000 or not, but had cleaned up smooth polygons and a story mode that people just die for. And the last one we played, probably the shortest video of the series, ECW Hardcore Revolution. This is in the vein of WDF Warzone, WDF Attitude, that were also on PlayStation at the time. This was also on PlayStation. I loved ECW, but <laughs> this game was laughably bad. Um, innovation, um, had ECW, that's fun, I got to play as Raven again, which we played, we had Raven in WCW NWO Revenge, and now here he is in, uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution, the voice samples, which were actually introduced in this, that's an innovation of this series, I would say, of this line, from Warzone to Attitude to this, had actual voice samples from each wrestler, um, even if with Sabu and Amish Road, it was just a grunt or a scream that they made into a microphone. Because Sabu, of course, never talked. So there they were. Nine games, ten games. This is part ten. So what I want to do is I'm going to rank them for you. My top three. Now I'm going to do this off the top of my head. I'm going to give you, well, no, we're going to do top three altogether. So I would say it goes like this. I'm going to say my number three game is No Mercy. Go ahead and start with the hate comments. I get it. I understand. Here's what it is. No Mercy is a ton of fun. But I actually thought that the Road to WrestleMania mode in WrestleMania 2000 here was harder. Because you didn't just get to buy your unlockables like here. I could just do exhibitions and get money. I could win the light heavyweight title 100 times and still unlock nearly everything, okay? This one, if you didn't pitch a perfect game in Road to WrestleMania and hit certain items along the way, including winning the frickin' Royal Rumble, you couldn't unlock everybody. You didn't get Shawn Michaels. You didn't get everyone unlocked if you didn't pitch a perfect game in WrestleMania 2000. That makes it amazing, too. But I'm not going to have it in my top three. I'm not. Believe it or not, it's not there. So, roll, No Mercy, number three. Still a blast to play. I really do enjoy it. My number two game of all time, Tecmo World Wrestling. When I found this for a couple of bucks at a game shop uh, north of my location here in rural BFE, I'm so glad I found it. Because this is one that was just so fun, and it stands up to this day. You've got a ton of different wrestlers, a ton of different moves, and it is hard. It is so hard to get through. That's why I enjoy it so much. It, it's not impossible, but it's challenging. It's a very good time. My favorite professional wrestling game of all time is actually whatever the current WWE 2K game is. Um, I like 2K17. I know it, or it gets a lot of crap from people online, but I don't have a physical box for it. So it's not going to be number one on this list today because we didn't play it for the series, but you've seen me play it on this channel before. I'm going with WCW NWO Revenge. Here's why, and it's this simple. This game has a lot of nostalgia value to me. This game sold me a Nintendo 64. So without this game, I wouldn't have played WrestleMania 2000. I wouldn't have played No Mercy. Matter of fact, I didn't play No Mercy until after I was a grown man and came back to it. And ECW Hardcore Revolution, I kind of regret playing anyway at this point. If I had a PlayStation on this channel, I would probably make SmackDown 2, Know Your Role, the number one game of all time. But since I don't, I've got to go with... This was a system seller for me, guys, I and mean, that means a lot. You could sit with four friends on your N64 and play and play and play and play. I visited back here to Missouri where I'm at now, originally from. I'd moved to Florida. I came back to visit with some friends. They had this. We played it. You can customize your characters. You can change their palettes. 
You could change their names. I can't even tell you the names some of my friends were using with this game, but it's still a game that we talk about. When I told a friend I was playing the N64 again, the first thing he mentioned was, do you remember the character I made in WCW NWO Revenge? Man, I couldn't get away with that today. And so for its multiplayer fun, for its, oh my gosh, it's just, it's replayability, it's infinite replayability. I, I've just got to go with it. WCW NWO Revenge my number one. If I, I'm i thinking of streaming PlayStation, all right, our next Ion Tox games is probably going to be about whether or not what is retro and what's not. So there's there's your teaser for next time we do this. But So there you go, folks. Let me know what you think. Ion Tox Games, first edition in the bag. Like, subscribe, and share. Number three game of all time was Tecmo World Wrestling. Oh, I'm sorry, WF No Mercy. Number two, Tecmo World Wrestling. And number one, WCW NWO Revenge. Let me know what you think. Tell me what your favorite professional wrestling game of all time is. I'm Dustin. This has been our first edition of Ion Talks Games, wrapping up the pro wrestling series. That's a wrap. When I get my PlayStation back, I'll stream a little more 2K. We'll have a good time. This has been a Clambake Productions podcast. Thanks for listening.